morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I know we don't usually do Fridays. We don't usually do Fridays, but we are this morning. Welcome to Energize Live, where we make magic in the morning. And we're going to go see the sunrise. So sunrise and energize for sure. Welcome. Welcome to Energize Live. We don't usually do Fridays. It feels like a lot of Fridays I have something going on that we don't do Fridays. However, tomorrow I have something going on. I have an airport pickup and other stuff. So um, the house is still just me in it today. And so I thought we'd do one this morning. And then we won't do one over the weekend. So you know what I'm doing today. I'm doing first thing. So I did first thing yesterday and then I did last thing last night. I had good sleep. It was good sleep. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Also... I did get, someone commented yesterday that they wished that first thing wasn't chocolate. And I said, I don't think I said that it was chocolate. I don't, does it, maybe it looks like it's chocolate. It looks like it's herby ingredients to me. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, okay. So we're going to, so you're going to go away. There we go. Yeah, okay. All right, so I put a little bit of water in my cup. A little bit of water in my cup. And now I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put quite a full scoop in, maybe like three quarters of a scoop. And we talked about this yesterday, so if you missed our conversation on first thing yesterday, go check it out. So here we go. And I'm going to put maybe like three, three quarters of a scoop-ish in. And it just has sort of a, you know, potent flavor. It doesn't really have, it just tastes like ingredients, if that makes sense. But here's the key. A little gingery, a little peppery, you know, that's, I think to me, that's what it tastes like. This is what I've learned from doing the test group. Also, if we can just acknowledge how cute this cup is. I mean, just, it's so cute. Here's what I learned from doing the test group with this when I did the test group last year. And I don't find it to be as, I didn't find it to be as necessary as I did last year, but I'm still gonna have it ready. So I don't love the smell of it. it is, I'm gonna have, water ready so after I finish drinking it I'll drink some water. Okay so then I froth it up really good. I'm gonna put my straw in it and just really drink it quickly. I'll tell you what I felt yesterday with it. I did feel a calming down of the monkey brain. Raise your hand. Tell me in the comments if you understand what I'm saying when I say monkey brain. Do you understand what that concept is? What that concept feels like? Do you understand monkey brain? Because that's what I felt yesterday. That I had a, a really lovely calming down of monkey brain. I feel like monkey brain is um, specific to women. <laughs> I feel like it's a female thing. Uh, I don't feel like men have monkey brain. If there are men on here, Chris, Chris is our, our guy who comes and joins us. If there are men on here, tell us if you have monkey brain. But I feel like women in particular have monkey brain. So I felt like, and I noticed it when I was in the test group last year, Notice yesterday, um, just a calming down of that. So, okay, so I'm gonna drink it quickly. Just like a pepper or a ginger, you can see my face like, it's like a pepper or a ginger aftertaste. 
and then it's gone and now I'm done, you know? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely transparent with you. I'm not going to drink it and go, it's delicious. It's not delicious. It's not, it, it, listen, it is, it is not strawberry lemonade energize. It is not strawberry lemonade energize. Um, but it's not supposed to be, right? It's not supposed to be. It's, um, you know that old proverb where they say if a fish compared themselves to a bird, they would feel like a failure, but... Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, don't compare it to something that's supposed to um, be delicious. It's supposed to be effective and it's not going, going to taste amazing. So don't go into it thinking it's gonna taste like strawberry lemonade energized, all right? There's nothing that tastes like strawberry lemonade energized. It's like, it's a modern day scientific breakthrough. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. All right, so let's, um, Oh my gosh, that's funny, Jenny. That's, I mean, women have done, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really, I just, sometimes I think too, we make such a big deal about it. Oh my God, it doesn't taste good. Like really, like, like everything you do is amazing. Like, do you like doing laundry? Like that's super fun for you. Do you like taking out the garbage? Is that super fun? Like, when did we get into this place where everything has to be joyful? Sometimes you do the thing because how you feel after you do the thing, right? What, do you like burpee lunges? I don't, but I sure felt great after I did them. So, let's go outside. Take my planner so I can do that a little bit. Um, so, I ordered, you know, that's way too much energy, lady. I ordered some table and chairs and couch and ottoman for my front room. You know, my front room has no furniture. And so I ordered a table and chairs and couch and ottoman for my front room. And the ottoman has come. And I think the chairs are coming today, but no couch, no table. And so it is in 2022. Uh, so when the chairs come today, I will show those to you on my stories. And when the couch comes in like 10 to 12 weeks, I'll show that to you too. And I don't know when. Ooh. Oh, today is Friday. No, those are my neighbors, I think. I think our sprinklers are Tuesday and Saturday. I don't think ours are today. If I get sprayed again today. Listen, does that look like a green screen today? It does, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. It's a quiet. It's a quiet sunrise today. Yeah. Okay, let, let's talk about those power greens for a minute um, the fi and the fiber green. Let's talk about those power greens for a minute. So I take our power greens and our collagen. I mix them together. Power greens, collagen, I mix them together in one container, shake it up so they're both in one container, and then I put a scoop of it in my Shakeology every day. And you don't even taste the power greens. If you, I've been doing it now not that long. I mean, a few months. Was I doing it in Indiana? I was doing it in Indiana. So let's say six months. God, time is weird, isn't it? And the first, very first time I did it, you could taste the power greens. I don't taste the power greens anymore. And it feels so good to know that I'm getting that beautiful scoop of greens that we all don't get enough of. And I'm getting it right in my shake. But I sort of mitigate the taste of the power greens by mixing it with the collagen. So... I just scoop it out, put it in my shake. I don't even taste it anymore. So if you know you need to get more greens in, which everybody does, try doing that. And yeah, you just don't even taste it anymore. I know, look at that. It's just getting better and better. Oh my gosh. Come over here and look. Don't fall in the pool. Come over here and look. Look at that. You're getting a good one this morning. Look at that. Oh yeah, I put frozen berries in mine. All the, that's my that's my recipe. That's my recipe is vegan vanilla. Um, those power greens with the collagen, some almond butter, and frozen berries, and sometimes a little bit more ice to make it, you know, super super thick and awesome. But that's my recipe every morning. 
So, okay, here's my question for you this morning. And then I, I have to get my walk in early this morning because because I've got chairs being delivered today. Um, so here's my question for you this morning. I want you to tell me one, one activity, one thing, one something, something you did yesterday to level up your workout, to move you towards getting you in the best shape of your life. How were your steps? What did you do in your workout? Tell me what you did yesterday, just yesterday, to move you towards getting in the best shape of your life this year. Put it in the comments. I did a strength workout on body with my new Okay, let me, let me put a little caveat on this, too. How is, this is what I should have said in the first place. So now you're going to have to go back and comment again. What is something you did, and how is it different from what you've been doing? How is it a level up? Sorry, I should have said that in the first place. More clarity, JV, more clarity. So Jen Will says, I used heavier weights. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. What did you do that maybe is different than what you've been doing. Brooke says, I, you did more push-ups on your toes. Did you have good form, Brooke? Did you video yourself? Make sure you have good form. Just because you're going on your toes does not mean you're leveling up if your form's like, you know what I mean? So make sure you have good form. Maggie says, up my weights. Added core flow bonus. Amazing. Sarah says, used heavier weights. Lori, you got your steps in. Awesome. Did your flow work out when you wanted to press stop and give up? You kept going. Good. That's good. Also, girl, are you, I mean, it's flow. You're stronger than you think you are. And just because you have the ability to press pause does not mean you should use it. It's so <laughs> interesting when I would um, teach group exercise and I'd have a lot of, you know, beach body coaches in my class and at the end of the class they'd be like oh yeah that was the hardest workout ever i'm like yeah because you can't press pause on me there's no mute uh, amelia you got all the steps all the steps that's amazing did you get your 12k amelia melanie started fire and flow again you increased your weight and chose the medium band that's what i'm talking about right there just a medium band renee you lifted with your 20 pound dumbbells Isabel, how is what you did different from what you've done before? You've always, Kendria, you always done 15, you went 20 for biceps, that's amazing. Julie, you picked up heavier weights, that's amazing. Julia, Julie, you are traveling, are you in a hotel gym? Because that's the best, that's the best. Yeah, Pam Kennedy had the best story last night because she was like, oh, maybe I should level up and then she wasn't, and then her yellow band snapped, and she had to. That was me in your basement telling you to level up. You did intervals for your run. Is that not something you usually do, Kim? Do you just normally run steady state? Is interval something different? You did a body workout. Okay, Heather, here's my suggestion to you. Take it as you will. You did a body workout with Joel instead of flow day. Guess what? You could probably do both. It's okay to do both. I said this to my coach, Sarah, the other day. I'm like, you can move your body more than one time a day. So you could, and you could split this up if you needed to. You could have done your body workout with Joel in the morning and come home and done your flow in the evening. If time is um, something that is short, you could split it up because you could do both. You can do more than a 30 minute workout. Worked on your form, up to resistance band. Use the blue, good for you. <coughs> you walked. Body camp, yeah. Add the walk in my routine. So, um, Deborah, I will tell you this, that I have had a low back issue since Jesse was born. So for 21 years. And it... And once you have a low back issue, then you have a low back issue for the rest of your life. 
Like once it flares up, like then you have it for the rest of your life and you have to learn how to manage it. You have to learn your triggers and you have to learn how to manage it. And for me, mine came after that six month period that I shared with you before um, in 2001 when all those major life events happened and then I started teaching group exercise and I got up one morning in 2002, I couldn't get out of bed and I started seeing a chiropractor. And since then, since 2002, I have had a low back issue. Sometimes it's particularly bad. When I was doing um, core to force training to kind of add that to my master training, like I couldn't even, I couldn't even do the training. My low back was so bad because I know my triggers and what, what I have learned and what science shows that for most of us with low back issues, what we want to do is, is nothing. And what we need to do is something. What, what people with low back issues will tend to do is I just need to sit down. I need to rest. I can't move because it hurts, which is the opposite of what we should be doing. So good for you for doing flow with the least and walking. Even if you walk slow, even if it's super slow yoga, doing something generally, and this is science kind of shows this too, and you have to know your body. So you have to explore it. When you have a low back issue, doing some kind of movement, generally helps it because it improves the blood flow and helps the healing. And when we do nothing and we sit, everything freezes up. So that's what I've learned. Science tends to support that. You do your workouts at night when your kids go to sleep, you need to start early. Yes, yes, you need to get up and do your early mornings. You need to do movement in the morning. It will change your entire day if you get your movement in in the morning. Promise, promise, I promise, promise. Heather, you're tagging on some meditation, which is beautiful. So, because remember, the best shape of your life also includes physical, mental, your relationships, financial, emotional, all the things. So, tagging on that, that's that dedicated meditation time. That's a beautiful tool to get in the best shape of your life. Nice, Andrea. Twenty-two pounds. Do you have? I, I don't. Where are twenty-two? Do you have twenty-two pound dumbbells? Like, where can I find those? Where can I find? I'm. I'm gonna have to. I've got 20s, 25s, and then I think I go. Up, I think I've got 30s. I don't know what else I'm gonna need for um, lift more. But good for you, Kim. You normally run steady state. You weren't wasn't seeing improvement. You started intervals. That's amazing. So see, you're doing something different, pushing yourself a little differently. It's gonna get you in the best shape of your life. Yeah, yeah. You have to really know your triggers with low back, but I promise you, 21 years of experience and doing a lot of research and doing a lot of wrong things and a lot of right things, if you move, it will help. I don't mean go teach a turbo kit class, because <laughs> hi, I've done that, <laughs> not smart. Um, if you move though, it will, I promise you, it will help, I promise you. Yeah, if you sit, it makes it worse, it really does. Sitting uh, is like smoking. Sitting's like smoking. I mean, it'll kill you. And the more you move, the better it is. And that's why people in blue zones live so long because they just have constant daily movement. It's not about going to the gym for six hours and pound, pound, pound your body. It's about just constant daily movements. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, Bree. You got up and got your workout in. Oh, that is fantastic. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, Andrew, you go to a gym, so that's 22 pound weights. That's amazing. That is incredible. I'm so proud of all of you. I got my 20 pound dumbbells. I used them yesterday, and I was putting together a prep work, a prep calendar for Lift More. And in this week, you know, when I came into, I'm like, what am I going to do to to kind of get in that mode? And I went over to Beachbody On Demand Interactive, and Joel has an amazing array of strength workouts right there. And so I've been doing these incredible strength workouts on body with Joel, which I have a feeling because he was in the creation mode of lift more when he was filming some of these body workouts, I have a feeling some of these moves I'm going to see again in lift more. So it's a really great um, way to prepare for that. So I'm going to do another one of those today along with getting my workout in. I did, um, I did a workout with Joel yesterday on body. And then I did, you know who my favorite is, is Vetus 
Vetus on Body is my absolute favorite. And he does a yoga flow and he does a flexibility workout. He does both of them. He usually films them on Fridays. So he'll have some new ones up today. He's my absolute favorite. And um, I did that afterwards because we've got to get that mobility in. Got to get that mobility in. So I think this morning I'm going to try to get him another Joel and maybe an Elise yoga flow. I'm going to try to get more um, mobility in too because the more mobile you are, the heavier weights you can lift, the faster you can run, the better you function, the better you function, the more progress you see, you know, so you've got to get that mobility in. You got to get the mo Vetus is amazing. Like his voice, his whole vibe. I'm actually hoping when I go, I don't know if we'll be able to have time for this. I'm going to LA the first weekend in August to see Josie and she's very close to Santa Monica and he teaches at a studio in Santa Monica. And I've always wanted to take his live class. So I'm hopeful that if not this time, another time when I'm out there, I'll be able to, I would love to take a live class with Vitas because he still, he teaches in a studio uh, as well as does the workouts on body. And I'm like, mm, that would be heaven for me. Like he's just so vibey and cool. And so, okay, I am going to uh, go get my walk in. I'm gonna go get my steps going and get the dogs walked today because um, I've got chairs that are coming and all the things that are happening. So today be thinking about what can you do today now that builds on what you did yesterday or continues to build, continues to stay focused. Listen, my friends, keep it simple. Simple is sustainable. Simple creates success, all right? We don't need to spend 62 hours in the gym and at the same time, you are capable of more than what you're giving yourself credit for. You can do more than a 30 minute workout. You wanna get in the best shape of your life, it's going to require more than a 30 minute workout. And remember, the best shape of your life includes all the phases. So physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, like all the pieces to it, all the pieces to it. So really be thinking about, okay, what piece am I going to work on today? It's easy to go, well, I'm going to pick up those heavier weights. Yes. What else can you do? Can you add that meditation in for your mental, your emotional health, for your financial health? Do you need to take a good look at your budget? What are you doing there? I know that's a, that gets to, that makes you feel a little bit sideways and a little bit wonky. I know. But I want you really thinking about all the pieces of getting in the best shape of your life. What are you gonna do today to continue that journey? Keep it simple. We do not need to be thinking about all the things all the time. That's one of the reasons why I'm so excited about Lift More because it literally is, it just keeps everything simple. Simple means sustainable. And that's what we want. We want habits forever, not just habits for now. We wanna build on those habits we want to create habits that move us forward to the best version of us. And I promise you, if you take what you do in your workouts and you push yourself in your workouts, it will translate into your life. I know this for a fact. I felt it and I've lived it and I've seen it that what you do in your workout is what you will do in your life. So get after it today. Do something more than you did yesterday. Tap into all the pieces of who you are and how you can level up and how you're gonna get in the best shape of your life today. Go get your steps in and go enjoy your Friday. And when my chairs arrive, I'll put it on my stories today, all right? Go make it an amazing day. Happy Friday.